Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, the city's solid waste management plan, as you know, what we launched back in 06, included a commitment to dramatically increase recycling. And that plan sets us on course to double New York's recycling rate to 30 percent by the year 2017. And that would reduce the amount of waste going to landfills by 30 percent as well. Now, reaching those goals will save city taxpayers at least $60 million a year, in large part because it's cheaper to recycle than to ship waste to landfills. It will also have a big environmental impact since it requires far less energy to produce items from recycled materials than from raw materials. In the case of plastic, that's something like 70 percent less energy used. This April, we took a bit major step uh, forward, launching the largest expansion of the city's recycling program since Mayor Koch first introduced curbside recycling over 25 years ago. And for the first time, New Yorkers can now recycle all rigid plastics. And by all, I mean all. You can forget about those crazy, hard-to-read numbers that I could never figure out on the bottom of plastic containers. Uh, that's all gone. You don't have to worry about it. Cups, bottles, food containers, compact disc cases, just recycle them. And remember to recycle all of your paper, metal, and glass as well. Now today, to help spread the word, we're launching a dynamic new ad campaign with a tagline that sums up nicely how far we've come. Recycle everything. That's the tagline. Recycle everything. Like the new plastic recycling rules, the message couldn't be simpler. And the campaign features some great artwork, which you can see here on these posters behind me. Uh, these ads will appear in newspapers, bus stations, newsstands, taxis, and other places around the city. Now, by recycling all rigid plastics, we'll keep about 50,000 tons of plastic out of our landfills every year and save taxpayers about 600000 annually on export costs. But rigid plastics is not the only major recycling frontier we're tackling. Last September, if you remember, we launched an organic waste collection pilot program in over 90 public schools in Brooklyn, Manhattan, and Staten Island. And this spring, we expanded the pilot to include household organics recycled and recycling in westerly Staten Island and a small number of high-rise Manhattan buildings elsewhere, high-rise high residential buildings elsewhere, including here at Morningside Gardens. And these programs programs, I'm happy to say, have been a very big success. In Westerly, more than 50 percent of households have already participated, and here in Morningside Gardens, the total weight of trash has plummeted by 35 percent. Because the pro yes, it is wonderful. It really is working. Nobody thought it would, but it does. Because the program's been so successful, we're expanding it, first beginning this September in parts of Windsor Terrace in Brooklyn and Throgs Neck in the Bronx. And if you live in one of those neighborhoods, you will receive a mailer from the Department of Sanitation with easy to understand information about organic collection. Sanitation will provide small bins for household collection and larger bins for building-wide collection. And like the current pilot program in Staten Island and here at Morningside Gardens, participation is voluntary but highly recommended and very easy. Sanitation will again expand the program to additional neighborhoods around the city in the spring of 2014. And by then, we expect it to reach more than 100,000 residents, or about 25,000 in each of the four boroughs we're doing it. By 2015, sanitation will also expand its organic collection program to every public school in the city. Sanitation also has a food scrap collection program at 29 green markets in all five boroughs in partnership with Grow NYC, the nonprofit that runs our farmers markets. The green market program alone, you should know, is on track to divert well over 1 million pounds of food scraps from our landfills this year alone. In total, organic waste and recyclable metal, glass, plastic, and paper account for 70% of our waste stream. So these new initiatives are going to take a big bite out of our landfills. And we're also launching new efforts to recycle or reuse the other 30% or so of city waste as well. For instance, this year we launched a refraction refraction. We fashion NYC, a used clothing and textile recycling service that has already diverted over a million pounds from landfills. 
refashion NYC. Uh, and in September, we're starting eCycle, which will be the largest electronic waste and recycling service in North America, fully funded by the electronics industry. And we've organized safe disposal events for getting rid of hazardous household waste. Waste to find out more about any of these programs and how your home or building can get involved, all you have to do is go to nyc.gov. Now, before hearing from our other speakers, I would like to thank Lynn Cole, who is Deputy Mayor Kaz Holloway's Chief of Staff and who managed the creative campaign, and Ron Gonan, Sanitation's first Deputy Commissioner for St Sustainability, whose creativity is helping us achieve our ambitious recycling goals. So now let's hear from some other speakers, beginning with Deputy Mayor for Operations, Kaz Holloway. Kaz. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, and good morning, everybody. When it comes to recycling, New York City has come a long way in the last 12 years. After 9-11, we had to temporarily suspend the program because of the dire fiscal situation we confronted. Now, in less than a year, we restarted picking up curbside waste. And in 2006, Speaker Quinn and the City Council passed the mayor's visionary solid waste management plan. Most people know that the plan will ensure that all boroughs share in the burden of dealing with solid waste and, by investing in new marine transfer stations, we're taking thousands of trucks and millions of truck miles off city streets. Less well known is the fact that embedded in that plan was a major commitment to expanding the city's recycling program. A few weeks ago, the mayor announced the largest expansion of recycling in 25 years. Now New Yorkers can recycle all rigid plastics, not just plastic bottles. And that's because we invested in a state-of-the-art recycling facility in South Brooklyn that can sort all of that material. And thanks to the vision of John Doherty and his Deputy Commissioner of Sustainability, Ron Gonan, we're boldly going where just a few years ago, and even a few months ago for some of you, no one thought we could. Recycling food waste and other organic material that makes up 35% of our waste stream. So we may have gotten off to a slow start, but Mayor Bloomberg has committed New York City to recycling for the long term, and that's good. Because recycling saves money, which means it's good for the environment and your pocketbook. Recycle Everything is a simple articulation of our aspirations as a city and a statement of how far we've come. The fact is that most things are recyclable or can be bought in a recyclable form. I want to thank Commissioner Doherty, the great team, and especially my Chief of Staff, Lynn Cole, who worked tirelessly on this campaign. Thank you very much. Kaz, thank you. Uh, next, our Commissioner for the Department of Sanitation, John Doherty. John. Thank you, Mayor. I think as the mayor pointed out and Cass Holloway pointed out a minute ago, the key word is everything is recyclable, and particularly with the plastic. Now, there's no questions that people have to ask anymore about what they can recycle when it comes to plastic. <coughs> Put it in the recycling bin. We're going to pick it up, and it's going to get recycled, and that's important. And I want to thank everybody that's in this room that happens to live in these buildings here for what they've accomplished so far with the food waste program. Now, this is not the easiest program when it comes to recycling, believe me. And so much of it is based on what you do, the people of New York City do, when it comes to food waste or any of the recycling. We can do about eight, about maybe 15% of the work by giving you cans and carts and information about it. But the people of New York City and the people in this building in particular, in these buildings, have to play their role in it. Without their help, we'll never make it. And you do 85% of the work by sorting it out, keeping it, putting it in the carts. We only pick it up and make sure it's composted. So thank you very much. And I want to thank Ron Gohan, the Deputy Commissioner for Sustainability, and his staff for what they've done over the past year in improving recycling and getting the word out. I mean, I don't think people have heard in this city so much about recycling than you've heard in the last couple of months, basically the last six months. So it's a growing program, some we all have to work on together to make it work. Thank you. John, thank you. Uh, the excellent creative work on our new recycling ad campaign was done by Gray Group, and I would like to invite Claudia Strauss, CEO of Gray Activation and PR, to say a few words. Claudia? Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, from our perspective, uh, it is not, there's never been a more rewarding campaign for us to work on. We've been citizens of New York 
for 100 years. Gray has been headquartered here. And it's rare for us to get an opportunity to really make a difference to the city that we actually work and live in every day. So we thank you, all of you, for the opportunity to have worked on a campaign that will make a measurable difference in terms of our city um, moving forward. I want to thank the incredible creative team who is here, who's really done all of the heavy lifting, to come up with this campaign that we believe really taps into the insight, to insights about New Yorkers who are creative and who do understand how to recycle, whether it's a storefront or a, or a t-shirt. New, York, New Yorkers are ready to recycle everything, um, and here's the work to prove it. Um, also, thank you to all of the brands who participated willingly. Many brands just, just lined up immediately because we are not the only ones that understand the importance of a recycling initiative in a city like New York. So thank you to all of the brands. Thank you to the city for partnering with us on this incredible campaign. We couldn't be more proud uh, to be here today to announce this. Thank Good. you. Claudia, thank you, and congratulations. Uh, Marcel Van Oyen is the executive director of Grow NYC. Marcel, the floor is all yours. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, once again, my name is Marcel Van Oyen, the executive director of Grow NYC. Um, we're a nonprofit um, that partners with the Department of Sanitation to help educate New Yorkers about how to recycle better. Um, and you know, I want to congratulate the mayor and his staff for this massive expansion of recycling in New York City, the biggest since uh, 1989 when the program was created. It all came out of the mayor's landmark solid waste management plan, which also created the Office of Recycling Outreach and Education, which my wonderful staff um, help New Yorkers around the city um, learn how to recycle and recycle better. This uh, Morning Sun Garden is a perfect example of, a, of how the Department of Sanitation and our office works together. Um, the folks at Morning Sun Gardens who were dropping off food scraps at our, one of our green markets in Columbia approached the staff and said, hey, we want to get involved in the, the organics program that the city's rolling out, and can we do that? Our staff met with them, brought in the Department of Sanitation, had a bunch of wonderful meetings with the staff here, and the program was what was born. So the fruits of the, or in this case, the fruit scraps of the labor um, no, yeah, no, it's horrible. But <laughs> I knew you would appreciate that. Um, Nothing wrong with the game <laughs> I read the New York Times article. Um, so we were very excited that this program got launched and um, that all the wonderful staff here, I want to thank uh, Russell Germain from the general manager, Larry Diodona, the co-op board president, Skip Delino, the co-founder of the Compost Club, and all the wonderful residents who um, basically fill their pails each day and bring them down to the to the composting bins there and dropping it in. You, they truly prove that you can compost, or in this case, recycle anything. So congratulations to the mayor and his wonderful staff, Kaz and, and Gray Advertising, and the commissioner, and Ron and Lynn, for putting together this wonderful program, Expanding Recycling. I moved here from Seattle um, back um, just before 9-11. I was here for when the, the program was canceled. Um, it was exciting to see the changes that have happened over the last uh, few years and how far we really come in New York City to expand recycling. So congratulations again to everyone. Myself, thank you. And also with us this morning is Russell Germain, General Manager of the Morningside Heights Housing Corporation. Russell. There you are. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I'd like to thank, start the speech by thanking the residents here. This is the community in which this is the perfect pilot program for. The residents here at Morningside Gardens truly care about New York City composting and recycling. So the introduction of this pilot program here that was brought here by Grow NYC and introduced to me through the president, Lawrence Dedona, was an important part to expand on the recycling programs of the city, and we are very happy to be a part of that. Um, I'd like to notably thank as well uh, Skip Delano, who through his efforts and education of our residents, <laughs> through his efforts and the education of our residents is what really made this program more successful than we ever thought. Thank you very much. Russell, thank you. Uh, Lawrence Dodona, President of Morningside Heights uh, Housing Corporation, thank you. Uh, let me uh, summarize for our Spanish-speaking New Yorkers. Uh, estamos empezando una nueva campaña para promover el recicla reciclaje 
de recorda a los residentes que pueden reciclar, reciclar todos los plásticos rígidos. También estamos expandiendo nuestros programas de desechos orgánicos y más partes de la ciudad. Así vamos a reducir la cantidad de basura en nuestros vertederos. Más de 30% recuerden reciclen todo. And with that, we'll be happy to take some questions on topic.